everyone and welcome to my top 5 water type Pokemon that I'm going to be sharing with you right now and on this fantastic episode. Lucky Red Okay, I have a lot of Pokemons on my list and they are more, more than, more than, more than and I could probably just say there are a lot of water type Pokemons but the question is, what is my top 5? Well, all of these Pokemons that I'm going to be saying right now they are based on how I really love them and how I really feel about them Well, let's get into it Number 5 on the number 5 list, we have Gyarados, the water flying The Atreus Pokemon Brutally vicious and enormously destructive Known for totally destroying cities in ancient times I love this Pokemon because it looks more like a dragon And I am a big fan of loving some couple of fantasy stories And those kind of stories that take me back then into older times Well, without further ado, let's head into my number 4 my number 4 on the list is going to be none other than Poliwath, the water fighting Pokemon, the tadpole Pokemon. A swimmer adept at both the front crawl and breast stroke, easily overtakes the best human swimmers well the very great and best i love the great design of it the way it looks i think it really just relate to human humans a lot more than i could probably just think well it really looks like a human figure when you look at it and to kind of judge by how it looks the designs of it are so fantastic i truly love it because you know, it looks like it's going to be ready to box you out right there and there and that's what I love about Poliwath. My number three is going to be Primarina, taking it to our to the Pokemon Sun and Moon and Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. That's indeed Primarina, the water furry type. At first, they introduced the Anna Pokemon Sun and Moon, as I truly said, and the soloist Pokemon. It controls its water balloons with the song. The melody is a land from others of its kind and is passed down from one generation to the next. This Pokemon really makes me to be up a chills because it looks so fantastically and really looks so cute and really just make my heart to have that girlish part because it does look like a lady although there are a couple of uh, Theme, you know, a couple of male Pokemons that are prime arenas. Well, now going into my next one. Well, the next two Pokemons are my top two. That's of course on the list. You might be wondering what are those Pokemons, and don't you dare wonder much because right now I'm going to be sharing you those top two Pokemons that I truly love the most. Well, it was a difficult one to choose between these two Pokemons on which one can take the number one spot in my heart, but I'm going to be saying this thing right now, right here, and the number two is going to. To be none other than Blastoise, that's for sure, the water type Pokemon. I truly love Blastoise because when I got introduced into the Pokemon scene, I was introduced by those kind of starters and one of them being the Shellfish Pokemon, a brutal Pokemon which prefrizes water jets on its shell. They are used for high speed tackles. What a great one. I love those bigger guns that are in the shells. You know, it looks like it's a very, very big beast Pokemon that is ready to take on any battle without further doubt. I love the designs of this Pokemon, the way they are designed, and they kind of collaborate. You know, they kind of have a special heart, a special place in my heart the way they are designed because they kind of introduce a lot of different things on my heart. And now. Coming to the one and only, the big on my list. Number one. 
My number one on my list, as I truly said, it was very difficult to choose between these two, and it's going to be none other than the water type, the water and duck type Pokemon. And you know that is only this Pokemon, which is going to be Grand Ninja, the ninja Pokemon. It appears to be the vanishes with the ninja's grace. It toys with its anime. We're using swift movements while sealing them with the throwing stars of a star past. And with that, this is my number one on the list, Greninja. I truly love this Pokemon because it really just kind of it was introduced to me when I first watched the anime. And yep, it was such a great one. I truly love it. It's my first top five you know yeah it's my first top five i ever shared with you ladies and gentlemen but without further ado you can put the, probably just put those comments right there into the comment section below and tell top five water type pokemons that you could probably just share to me and we could probably just have some couple of discussion and tell me what is your number one on the list don't you ever forget to really catch lucky red on 504 yeah but lucky red 504 on all social media pages and right now i'm going to be just saying thank you so much and i'll catch you on the next episode goodbye